After having evaluated the kidneys, we're going to move down to the bladder to finish the evaluation of the urinary tracts. We start in the sagittal plane. Transducer indicator goes towards the patient's head in the midline. We point down into the pelvis to get the bladder into view. We adjust our depth so that we can see just a little bit past the bladder and to make sure that we don't have screen space wasted with unnecessary uh, components. After we get the bladder into view, we go ahead and scan all the way from side to side, again, so we can evaluate the entire structure. We can see the bladder come in completely in and out of view, defining its lateral boundaries. And we're going to turn the transducer indicator over to the right side of the patient. That's the 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. And then we will scan all the way inferior and all the way superior, again, evaluating the entire bladder. Now that we've defined the boundaries of the bladder, we can focus on its contents. One of the most important indications for performing bladder ultrasound is to rule out bladder outlet obstruction or to rule out an excessive post void residual volume. So in order to evaluate for this, we have to know how to perform a volume measurement. Um, we we'll start with the transducer in axial plane and freeze the bladder in its uh, maximal diameter. Uh, this measurement should allow for us to uh, calculate bladder volume with, a, with an error of 15 to 35 percent. After we freeze the bladder, we hit our uh, calculate button, we come down to bladder volume, we hit select, we will first obtain our AP diameter and hit enter. Then we will obtain our transverse diameter. And again, hit enter to put these values into the computer. At that point we're going to unfreeze, switch back over to sagittal plane, freeze and obtain the final superior to inferior measurements. This is going to be the third diameter, the superior inferior diameter is going to be measured from side to side again. We got an estimated post void residual of 46. Remember a normal post void residual is in the range of 50 to 100 milliliters with Foley catheters typically being required for patients that have post void residuals above 100 milliliters. There are several different causes for bladder outlet obstruction. You can um, evaluate the inferior portion of the bladder for either blood clots that may be obstructing um, bladder outflow or for masses that are protruding into the bladder and obstructing bladder outflow. Finally, another common etiology is of course benign prostatic hypertrophy. In order to evaluate for that, we can obtain measurements of the prostate. The prostate is just deep to the bladder and should be no more than 5 centimeters in diameter. This is a normal prostate with approximately 3 by 3.5 centimeter diameter. Finally, we can supplement our understanding of ureteral obstruction with color flow. Uh, we look at the bladder at, uh, towards the base of the bladder, just a little bit above the prostate where the ure ureteral jets um, typically are present. We turn on color. Move the color window over the base of the bladder, and then it takes a little bit of patience to wait and see and ensure that there's bilateral ureteral jets and therefore no obstruction on either side.